Hello! In this quick feature video, we are going to look at the new Notify External Party activity, which is debuting first in the Kappa module. This is for you if you are a company operating under ISO 13485-2016 or IATF 16949-2016 with a requirement to notify your notified body of significant changes. Notify external party is great for quality departments that need to assign the responsibility of notifying an external party to another user, or need to organize updates to outside parties. Let's click the Kappa module for a quick example. Here we have an example, Kappa 2021-005, Ineffective Preventative Maintenance Process. This is a Kappa we received during an audit from our notified body, DECRA. Let's click it to learn more. This isn't a video on creating Kappas, but we need a little background to understand the Notify external party process. Let's look at the scope. We can see we created this Kappa after conformity against our PM process. The nonconformity says we are unable to demonstrate PM records for our CNC equipment. We have written a risk statement as well. There are no detailed requirements for PM, so we cannot demonstrate we fulfill the requirements. Let's look a little more. We can see this record source is our 2021 Notified Body Audit by DECRA. It is an NC2, and it is against ISO 1345-2016 section 6.3 infrastructure. Below, under Kappa items, we have added a few internal documents that are relevant to this NC. The IQOQ for our Hyundai CNC equipment, which should have contained PM requirements. Our PM001 preventative maintenance log where we store PM info and our SOP6000 on PM. So this is a Kappa to introduce PM requirements and perform PM for our organization. Let's scroll up and click Kappa activities to see how we tackle this change. Wow, we can see there are a lot of corrective actions for this Kappa. That's because this Kappa is in response to a notified body audit of nonconformance. We will have to communicate these steps as part of a corrective action plan to our notified body. Let's go over our steps real fast. We can see we did a root cause analysis, then we can see our corrective actions. We can see our original corrective actions were created on January 1st and were meant to introduce a new electronic system for performing preventative maintenance. But then, uh oh, coronavirus, we can see we had to perform a new updated root cause because we decided we need to outsource our CNC program because we were unable to perform CNC activities in-house due to the virus. Then we wrote a new set of corrective actions that center around outsourcing our CNC program. Changes to corrective actions are common, but these changes, since they are in response to a nonconformity from a notified body, must be reported to the notified body. We can even see here that we have a specific corrective action, CA6, just to notify DECRA of the update to our plan. Now we can just send an email to the notified body and upload that to the Files tab. But what if we want to assign this task to someone else? This is where the new FreeQMS Notify External Party activity comes in. Let's scroll up and click Create Kappa Activity. Here it is, Notify External Party. Let's fill out this form. Activity status, new. Description, March 15th, 2021, send updated corrective action plans to DECRA. Assigned to, we're going to assign this to Chip Curry. He will be responsible for communicating these changes to DECRA. Start date today, and due date will be a week from today. Complete date will leave blank. Legacy record ID will also leave blank. And Kappa items. Now it might be a great idea to add another Kappa item titled something like Corrective Action Plans, but for now we'll select the items here. Action required. Update official DECRA corrective action form with new corrective actions and send to auditor for approval. Here we are saying that CHIP needs to update the DECRA corrective action forms with our new corrective actions that center around COVID-19 and send them to the auditor. Notice required. Use DECRA official change notification form. If you do not have the form, request it from our account representative. Notes. Required per ISO 13485-2016. Reporting to regulatory authorities. If applicable regulatory requirements require notification of complaints that meet specified reporting criteria of adverse events or issuance of advisory notices, the organization shall document procedures for providing notification to the appropriate regulatory authorities. Records of reporting to regulatory authorities shall be maintained. And we can click Create. 
Great, now we've assigned the responsibility to update our notified body with a new corrective action plan to one of our team members. When this job is complete, that team member should come back and attach evidence. We have also satisfied requirements to document notification of regulatory authorities. We hope you enjoyed this quick look at this new Kappa activity, and thank you for using FreeQMS.